morning. Let's go take a look at what's going on in this room. So we're in 1212 now. Sprayed the neem oil. Use the nemesis. There's no more thrips in here. But uh, we do have something new going on here. Booyah. So as we're coming in, checking out, we got the plasma Gavita going. We got the mass controller set up to auto dim. It's already happening. We got a temperature here at 67% humidity, 82 degrees. We are humidity down a little bit. But look at how the room's doing, guys. We just started the flip. And uh, we've been spraying, we've been maintaining. This room is nice and clean. We've swept, we've cleaned, we've treated. And uh, we got beautiful new growth going on here. Look at that. No thrips, no damage. Beautiful new, beautiful new growth. You can see this happening everywhere in here, guys. So, as always, coming in here, the lights are about ready to go off here any minute. We sprayed all of our plants down with neem oil. Give it a little head start here, how things are doing. We gave it our nice first feed. We're gonna clean up this little mess here now. That's about the little mess that I have. Got the plasma going, so I'm really, really excited about this light right here. Totally. It's doing the auto dim right now. It's got things going on here. That's cool, that mass controller. I'm so excited. As you can see, we got the two endo maxes on each end down there with the LED in the middle, the Spectrum King. That's the old Spectrum King. Now, I did see a new one that was quite much more brighter. Maybe I can hook up other guys from there. And, you know, we've been testing this bulb here for about, about two years now. And we do like it. But, of course, like everything, technology just keeps getting better and better. So, we can see how these are all just doing quite fantastic. The Quest kills it in here, guys. I mean, Green Planet, whether for the nutrients, it's just all these great things that are happening. The CO2 has been introduced right now. So you have our CO2 going, you can see the ball is floating. And we're at 648. I got that set at 750 parts per million right now. Um, in week two, I'll bring it up to eight. In week three, I'll bring it up to 850. Week nine, um, you know, nine, a thousand. And I, I taught my CO2 at about 11, 1200 parts. So, you know, the first week, we'll go up 100 parts per million and over the next, uh, every week, until we head up to about 11, 1200. But it's kind of what we're doing here, guys. You got the wind movement. I put a fan down on the bottom there to keep the you know, little bit of circulation on the bottom. So we got one, two, three. Whoop, that fan got turned off. So, never, not enough air moving in here. Like, you see the plants moving quite nicely. But, as you can see, guys, the canopy is perfect. Almost at the side of the CO2 tank right now. We've got our sensors hanging in the middle here. That would be for the dehumidifier. And then you come over here. This is the sensor here for the Gavita. So, if the Gavitas get too hot, they start dimming and they cool down. So, that's pretty cool, too, guys. So, you can see how we got this whole thing set up. Yeah. I love that. Light emitting plasma. So we're gonna really get to see the difference with this bulb this time. We've never used uh, the LED against the plasma. We never used the plasma. So I'm super, super excited for the Gavita plasma, guys. There you go. There's the information that you need to know about the Gavitas. There's the one we got going on. Here's our Endomax 315 watts with the LED Spectrum King. Here's our plants. You can just see how beautiful these ones are doing right here. And we can see how beautiful these ones are doing right here. So it's a little test, but you know we are in the same room, so um, we're gonna just take a look at to see the development across them. We got the, oh, well, we got a grow peel stuff in the middle. We just fed that with dual fuel actually, and I actually fed the bottom. I didn't get a chance to do the video on that. Um, it was just in a rush, so I just did that. But we'll do that next time. But there's your update, guys. And uh, we got a new thing of CO2. We added CO2. We turned on the plasma. And we're in the first week of flower. Yeah. Wait till you see how great this room's gonna do. We're really looking forward to bringing you this room and being able to talk more about how I grow my medicine. This is what I do, guys. This is what I do for my pain control. Oh, 
more, guys. You know what I'm doing? I'm ensuring that everything is doing fantastic in here. So, once again, a little bit of neem oil. But this time I used a bit of a wetting agent. I used an SM90 for this last application, this last spray that I put on these plants. We got no pistol hairs. We went into flower yesterday. I think, you know what? Let's give this a wetting agent. Add some neem oil for the last time. Make sure. Get that going. Now, with the SM90, it's really easy here, guys. In a foilless spray, application rate, dilute one part SM90 with five parts of water to repair a foil spray. May not, may, may be repeated every three days for up to three applications. Active ingredients. I, we got, uh, I'm not, I can't read it. I only know English. But here you guys go. We got some SM90 for you to give a shot. I used that the last time. Just the wedding agent, get the stuff going here. Um, we use the plant guard, we use the, the, the pot. We've got everything going in this room that I really want to go. So I heated everything up. I went spraying. So I pretty much use one of these. Put in um, 80 mils of SM90. Give me 400 mils of water, but I got about 800 mils of water here. Actually, sorry, I have 3,000 mils. So I'm definitely not putting in 3,000 divided by five, 500 mils, three times five. No, they actually want me to put 500 mils of SM90 in. That to me seems a little too much, and I'm just actually just doing an application of the neem oil. Okay guys, we're getting ready to put the lights to go out again. I've got this all pumped up. Let's spray this room one last time. Once again. Okay guys, we sprayed um, one last time. So we did the neem oil application three times. The last time we did it with uh, the SM90 just for the, the folds for the drenches for a better application. Better, better, better. Okay guys, what we got going on? We got that all nicely sprayed up. Everything's looking fantastic. We got our lights. Going off. They're actually just going off now. There they are. So our lights are going off, guys. We did the application before the spray. One last time. We use SM90 with this. There's our uh, little um, little last application here before we get things going into flower and before we start growing. And as always. Oh, you're on. Well, it looks like the DHU is working. And we're going in. Oh, yeah. Plants are looking great. We're day two of flower. You can see how great they're doing. But you know what? I got a message this morning, and that message came from our great friend, Havar from Givita. And um, he's like, John, let me read you the message, guys. Let me get you the message. <clears throat> okay, so, Havar Givita, got the plasma here and stuff like that, sent me a message, John, could you please turn the Givita so the ballast point the same way as the plasma? Our reflectors are made for, for crossover lighting and most light comes from the sides. This is also needs to get the supplement plasma to do the job the way we intended. Kind of makes sense. Now, 
as I'm sitting here looking at these lights, guys, you can see this here. So what he's saying is I, I should be having this light, turn this light this way. So we're gonna change this from being this way and we're gonna change it and go this way now. Kinda makes sense. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be changing these lights over to make sure that the supplement lighting is doing its best job for these plants. But I mean, as you can see, guys, these plants are healthy, they're clean, they're bug free, and they're doing fantastic. So um, we're ensuring that this room is nice and clean. We swept in here. We sprayed the whole floor down with neem oil so we know that there's no bugs there or anything there. So that's all being done. We put up new mylar, so that's all being cleaned up. The ceiling's being cleaned. The ballasts have all been wiped down. Even used this stuff here for kind of doing some stuff. I used the gold shield. Um, this is great. So uh, wiped everything down. We got the clean light over here. So we're going to be using the clean light. You got the hydroxy, you got a few different things that are here right now that I've been using for doing our gauges, checking our gauges. These are the lights that we're using. Here's some of the stuff we use for cloning. This is the stuff that I like the most. Of course, there's always med tainers in my life. They're everywhere. And, um, hey, we got you guys. And a little bit of education that's always coming from the guys that came up with the stuff. So let's change these so they're facing the right way. That was a great tip. Hopefully we'll have a few more throughout the, the beginning of this video and see what's going on here. But as always guys, um, we're just kind of doing what we love to do, which is growing our own. There you go. Hey guys, we're showing the convenience of these little light, little cameras. Here we're a little uh, switches here so I can kind of take my stuff here up and down. So we got a little switch here. Makes my life easy. You ask how I do a lot of things because of uh, you know, my neck and stuff like that. Well, make my life pretty much really easy and simple as possible, guys. And it's just one way of doing that. And uh, Little, little, little tips and tricks, I guess. Being able to work in your garden when you're having problems. Some people are saying, oh, can you see how I'm working around on my disability and how I work things? Well, it's how I make things work, guys. I make life easy. I'm able to bring this down to this level. I'm changing these bulbs to face this way so they work in conjunction with the plasma. But I mean, these, these little, uh, I can't, can't think of the name of them right now. God, would be insane, but. I mean, I got three different types here. I got different ones here: the ratchet, the sun grips on this side. Uh, these ones here, these were the gorilla grips, I think they were. So the little ratchets, so you can move your lights up and down quite easily. So they're quite convenient. You can hear that. You can hear move them up, so now I have everything at the level that I wanted to. Easy to let go. They snap back into place. Quite simple. So. I work everything at this level. It's the best level for me. I got a table sitting right over here, so I'm gonna move over and I grab my table. Make my life easy and simple. There you go. Get that out of the way, guys. Now I'm able to get back to work over here and we can move this uh, board over. Really easy and simple. how really easy it is. Why make your life difficult? When you can make it simple. So we have three different lights sitting in here now. I think I may even move that one back, but this light box is in the way. So our focus is right here, guys. Plasma 
Gavita 705, I believe. What we got here? Gavita Pro 6 750E Flex with our plasma. Now we've got the proper light that's going back and forth. We've got it hooked up to the NASA controller. This test is going, well, I think it's going to be pretty epic. So we had to do that changeover. That's how easy it was. I set this room up because it made my life too much, well, not too much, make my life simpler, right? Little, little quick, little easy ways of being able to work inside your garden. A nice small little medical garden it makes me happy. There we go. Day four of our first feed, so four days, and I think I'm going to need to feed again. And the best part about that, guys, is, is uh, all I need is a little bit of any one. Pretty much good to go with this. We already know exactly what I'm going to be feeding into this stuff like that. So, uh, best part about many one is we just know exactly what it's going to take. Now, 160 ounce. One, two, easy, very easy, simple little mix, makes my life so easy, and all I need with that, I'm going to pH up, we're using prime guard right now, and with the prime guard, I've already read the instruction within two mils per gallon, two mils to four liters every feed is supposed to be two weeks before harvest. So we've determined um, two mils per gallon, 10 gallons, 20 mils. Like her. Now, plant guard is great for protecting the roots, good for uptake. Just, uh, you know, just a little product I'm going to use the first couple of times in the beginning stages of this grow. To get things going. One thing we've added. Talk more about that. Make my life easy. Watering one. Yeah. Much, much more easier. As we here, we got back on. I'm just going to grab my gauges there in the, in the glass. Reach over. Oh, long arms. It's a great thing to do. We should always check those gauges. Always make sure things are going good inside this. So we pretty much know how this works. I do this all the time. It's a little noisy out here because we got the air going. We'll close that off, so always make sure we got air going in there. So I'm gonna drop these in here. Yeah, just like that. Right away I'm down to like 79, 77. I'm going right to my temperature. I'm at 58 degrees, 59. So 59, 60 degrees. Let's see if we can bring it up a little bit harder. That will take a couple of minutes. My pH is at 6 6.7, 6.6, 6.5, 6.4. Oh yeah. See how perfect that is. EC 1.2. That's another excellent bonus. So we got a pH at 6.4, 6.3, even better. That's exactly what I want. 6.3, my nutrients, 1.2. My temperature is at 60 degrees, 59, 60. I'm okay with that, guys. So, you know, we're really actually ready, really good to go here, ready to feed. Throw my gauges back in. Now, make sure you always keep these in water. Keep them wet. You want to make sure. And... Be safe, keep them on the ground, make sure that always works out good for you guys. So basically what I've done now, and I've talked about this in the past, when watering and when using a watering wand, and how you handle your watering wand. And when you handle your watering wand, I'm going to show you guys over here, I'm going to kind of do this. Just exactly how I kind of get into here. You take a better look at the garden, how we're doing things here right now guys. But uh, just a little bit of a tip on how I, and when I water, and how I actually handle, I'll always hold on to the back of my hose, just like this. Because when you're working in your garden, guys, the most important part 
is not hitting those plants, not wrecking those plants. So when I'm walking in here, I can actually maintain and hold the back of my hose. So just a little tip. Now, I'm gonna go, for me, I'm gonna run this through. Make sure we got all nutrients. So I always run it through because I just did the nutrients. So I got water in there first, guys. I'm gonna show you what I mean. You can see in how there's water coming out of there first. So we're gonna make sure it's all mixed with the nutrient. So get that going. There's a the color change right now. So what I'm looking for. You can see we got the air going in there. Things are good. And then just to make a quick little easy side here. We run for 12 seconds. I've done this quite a bit. So each plant, just like right here, is 12 seconds. So when I'm running this, I go like this: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Easy. One, two, three, four, five. So I count. Now I get consistency, right? So that's basically how I water my plants. So I get things going. I want to make sure every plant gets the same amount of feed and then we'll see how things go after the first little week. Just kind of give you an idea. I'm going all the way around the sides, guys. But in here, it's like all the way. One, two. So you want to go all the way around? Once again, paying attention to the back of your hose. We're basically getting right down into it. Now you can see here, guys, we've got the Gavitas going strong now. We've got, we got the little messes there from, uh, from Mr. Gavita himself, and so we changed that over so we have the proper crossover. Of course, these are the plants we're feeding right now. We're getting lots of oxygen in that water, and uh, we're rocking it here, guys, and uh, we'll just keep things going. Right down at the end here, guys. Let me tell you how easy it is to use a watering wand. It makes your life so much more simpler. I think I get this right down to the nitty gritty here where we're just getting it right down to the last little bit. Done this before, 49 plants, 12 seconds and, and four gallon pots. It's pretty much my watering type system. Once again, hold it onto the back of your hole so you don't break your plants. Last plant. Oh, no, no, no. So I had someone helping me and they were being really kind by putting some extra water in there. You can hear the door opening and closing with that. That's why you hear that, guys. Pretty much you can hear the end of that like sucking up right now. And there you guys go. Here's our second feed. We just used many one little bit of plant guard. We'll get into our third one. We're in day four of flower. And uh, plants are doing fantastic. There it is. We're all done. So let's pull this out. The watering hose can lie right back down the middle here. Once again, hang out in the back of your hose. And uh, I just kind of go right down the middle and back to where it belongs. 
which is this new hang truck. about my evening coming in here to take a look so right off the hop we are exactly eight days in the flower you beat a plasma LED the best part about this is guys is I can actually just wheel myself right into here like this. Woohoo! We get right into here, circle around, and you can see the path of how I get around in here. But let's take a better, really good look at these guys. So we're definitely looking fantastic. Doing really, really nicely. See the new growth is just beautiful. Definitely don't have any bugs on the new growth. A bit of a deficiency there. Overall. Double top. I love that, eh? And it's just one of those beautiful, beautiful pictures you have to take. But, you know what? As you can see, you see how nice and soft. These leaves are doing fantastic. Everything is looking great. There's another double top. Okay, this one's shooting right up. You see all these nice tops coming in here, guys. But definitely doing fantastic. So there you go. Now you can kind of see the difference of what's going on here and how the room is like kind of working out. We did the neem oil sprays, a couple of them. We did the, the, the nemesis. And uh, I think we're doing, I think we're doing good. There's the, the other one there in the Gropito. We're gonna give it a few of these some water. Checking out the plants and seeing how they are. We just gave it some water late last night, but that one there needs some water. So, as always, we're going our own, right? I want to show you how things are going. Some people were like, oh, we got some bugs. We had Western flowering thrift. It wasn't that really a big deal, but I wanted to show you and go through the steps. Most people won't even tell you about it. They're just like, ah, do the video and keep going. You can't really see it. You can't really see what's going on. I can hold the camera back and see how fantastic these plants look. But when we got down to the bottom, we saw some of that little strip damage that is now no more because all the new growth has got no damage. So the new growth is fantastic, guys. You can just see all these new tops. Everything is doing really, really well. Really, really happy how things are working. We did our trim, and we might do a trim again. I always do a week three trim. I get in there and I do what I love to do. But uh, just kind of showing you the look here on how this is doing with the plasma. Definitely, uh, you can see a little bit more stretching about the internal space in here. 
and how that's all developing here to here. And then we come over to this side, you can see how this is developing on this side. So it's really taking a good look and seeing how things are working. You can see exactly on this side, this is under the 315 and the LED. Uh, that's the Spectrum King. Completely under the LED. And that will go into the corner, of course. But definitely getting under here and taking a better look at what's happening with the Gavita Grow. Well, there you guys go. I'm gonna back it up here. Got the sensor right there. We got the plasma going right there. We got it dimming over here. It's on 420 watts right now, which is fantastic. I love how that works. So, as always, guys, we're gonna keep updating this room and showing what we're doing. Right now, it's just about feed, feed, water. Feed, feed, water. That's what I'm doing right now. So, uh, I did a feed and it uh, went uh, three days. Four days, and then I did another feed, which we did together. And now I'm gonna get some water. So we're on day 10, and it's time to get a you few know, of some water. So actually, it was one feed first water. Let's rephrase that. The first feed we went for about five, six days. So you know what? Things are just how they're doing. That we're, we're growing. Just the white stuff out there. It's ridiculous. But in here, we have sunshine. So here's what we got going, guys. As you can see. Things are now above the CO2 tank. Now let's talk about the CO2. Let's walk in here and take a look. So as we walk in, our CO2 level is at 733 parts per million. We're gonna turn down this fan so you don't have to hear it going blowing. So right now we're in week two. I'm gonna bring my CO2 up to 850. I'm gonna save that, we got that going. There's how much CO2, the tank is still full. We got that going on. So it's got a 50 degree fluctuation. Our temperature, 81 degrees. Our humidity, 44%. And you can see how great these plants are doing here right now, guys. I turned off that middle fan because just the way I didn't think I needed the bottom air right now. But you can definitely see this is the LED and 315 going. That's the Gropedo in the back, flowering out. Now we can take a look at how that's just starting to flower. And you can take a look at how that big one's going. Now we've been growing that plant for quite some time. Now we get over to the Gavita and the Plasma. What's happening with these plants here? Well, we're definitely going to give it a feed today, and we're not going to give it just any feed. I, I, I to me, uh, I, because I'm using the cocoa um, and there's more cocoa, I'm going to get into using Procal. I'm going to use a little bit of Procal on this next feed. I'm also going to get Massive with the Massive. So I'm using Massive, Procal, Placard. Betty one. Now that's a feeding schedule that is simple and easy. I'm gonna add the Procal because of I'm using the cocoa. It's a more of a cocoa blend, so you're definitely seeing that. I can see that. That's what my opinion is that I need more calcium and magnesium in my grow. You can see how everything else is going. All of our new growth doesn't have any thrift damage, but you can definitely see it's gonna lack in some some nutrients. So we're gonna get on that right now. We're adding these extra nutrients. We're doing our next feed, feed two, week two of flower, and a second feed. We got parts up a little bit higher, and uh, we'll start rocking this guy. So in the meantime, as always, I'm gonna lock you guys in. I'm gonna sit down right here. I'm gonna do a big water feed here. I got my hose sitting here on the wall, as you remember. So we got the hose sitting here. We're gonna mix this all together. We'll talk more about that. And we're gonna get back to growing our eyes. Actually played with the manual white balance here, so this way you don't get the light of the HPS lights from the Gavita. So, you know, I'm getting into my second feed, and right away I wanna really take a quick look at, you know, how many gallons is actually in this tote. So I put the dimensions here, 24 by 16 by 16. I look up 24 by 13 by 13. That's roughly 15 gallons of water. So you know what? Now I know because I've been judging it by roughly 10 to 12. So 15 gallons of water is what we're working with. And today, of always, many one. We got our gauges in here, so we are you taking a look at our water? My pH is sitting in here is actually quite high right now, 8.2. Nutrient zero. Temperature is at 58 degrees. So. 
little, little light. I'm gonna have to heat that up a little bit, a little low. And say the light look cold. So, on that note, we're using Massive today. We're using Massive. We talked about the plants. I'm also gonna use Procal. And we're gonna get into using the many one as always. So this quick feed and what we're doing and what we love to do. As always, give it a shake. And yes, I've been working with Green Planet Nutrients, you guys. Well, since 2009 when I got my back to work program. And uh, today's kind of a celebration day because it was uh, a year ago today that we made the newspapers in the news because we had a lot of rights to continue to grow our own medicine for the rest of our lives. And we're protected. And on that same day, I got pulled over. I made it viral on my YouTube channel, on my uh, Facebook channel. Oh, 30,000 hits of uh, being pulled over and arrested for cannabis possession exactly a year after the date we want our right to continue to grow our own. Kind of ironic. Got pulled over. Um, officer asked me, uh, it smelled like marijuana in the car. And there was, there's no way because I don't smoke in my car. And I kind of laughed a little. Well, some of this container and it's airtight. Smelt it, opened up, and whoa. And, Put the lid on and handed it back to me and went, uh, you're under arrest for uh, cannabis uh, possession. Um, I told him I was a medical cannabis patient. He asked me if I had any paperwork. I told him I did not have my paperwork on me. That uh, it's been since 2012 and we're protecting under the injunction. So he proceeded to call Health Canada at about 1.30 afternoon on uh, Saturday and uh, I found my card on me. And uh, things went pretty good. I got a ticket for apparently running a red light let me go, uh, search the car, and uh, on we went. So, still protected, but still being harassed. But anyways, you know what? That was a positive thing. Uh, we're a year into our right to continue to grow, and that's why we're doing this Grow Your Own series. Okay, next up, guys, I'm using the Procal. A Procal really states on the bottle, and it says right here, and like I said, I need some calcium and magnesium. We want to use the Procal. One tablespoon per gallon. We've got 15 gallons, so that's uh, 15 by 15. Um, Do that again. Five mils per gallon, one teaspoon. It seems wrong. So basically, guys, got 15 gallons. I'm gonna go 10 gallons. So uh, I'm gonna kind of measure this up here. 50 mils. That's what I'm putting in. So my measuring spoons here, and particularly this one here, half a cup, 80 mils. Brand new bottle. Proco. We'll do our first heat with that, and then we're gonna do massive. Now massive is pretty much pretty heavy. It's it's a feeder. It's 20 mils per gallon. I realized I didn't really have enough massive in that container, so I had to give a massive container of massive. So it's kind of a nice you know, clear color. That's 80. One sixty. And then half, 200 mils, 10 gallons is what we're going to judge that on. It says 50, but I'm going to put 200 mils of massive in there. Now you see how that affects my EC right now. My pH is at 6.7, which is good. My EC was at 1.2. And the massive went up to 1.4. That's good. Now one more feed with the plant guard. Our pH, once again, is sitting at uh, 6.8, 6.7. Nothing will be adding the plant card this time around because it acts kind of as a pH up. So, EC is at 1.5, and then water temperature is at 60 degrees. I should bring it up 3 degrees, so we're going to, of course, heat that up with the kettle. We've talked about that in the last video. This is our second feed. You can see how big these plants are doing. Things are doing fantastic. We're doing things maintenance now. 
We're gonna start staking this room. We're gonna start putting stakes in here by week three. We'll talk more about that in week three and what we're gonna actually see over the next seven to ten days. And uh, pretty much, guys, you know, you can see the height of these plants here right now. You can see what's going on. You can see the tripod in here. You can see the CO2 tank in the back. You can just kind of see exactly how everything is going in this room. It's looking fantastic. We're now going to add... What are we going to add? Well, we have to step out here. Oh yeah, we're going to add oxygen. So that's important that we add the oxygen. So we always want to talk about adding oxygen. Key little steps. Get that going. Oh, and we need one more thing, guys. As always, don't forget, we're gonna add one zyme in there too. So we're gonna get our zymo. It's gonna be our full feeding program. We're in feed two. We're gonna show you how this is gonna go over the next week or so like that. It gives you a really good idea how these plants are doing. And as always, we're growing our own. So let's up, uh, we'll get back here in a minute. Well, as always, I'm kind of showing you things that I do. And at first, you know, you want to know how much water you're doing when you're using a watering wand. So I always have my jug sitting here. I got to time it. So I kind of got to know what's going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen seconds is roughly giving me about three liters of water. So then I'm getting an idea. So I've done this a couple times, but when you're using a watering wand, you want to give each plant the same amount of water. So you can kind of want to measure how much your watering wand is. I talked about how to hold your watering wand. Make sure you don't kick it. Hold it on the end so this way you're not destroying your plants. Then we start watering our plants. We get an idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. So I do 12 seconds, it's kind of what I've always got into. So when you guys hear me counting in my videos, now you know why. So I'm going to start counting here. I'll show you what I'm doing as I'm counting. Right in here as always. And uh, always wash the bottom and the back of your wand. Take it off and wrap your plants. Kind of get in here. Well, so as you notice, when I'm going around, I'm going all around this. That's what you can want. One, two, three, four. And I just get a little water coming off the bottom. I can already see it. That makes me feel happy, and I talk about that. So this is what I'm doing, guys. Just kind of showing you how I do this. Second feed. 